Office of the President-Elect, the year 2028, by Shirley. As first order, if elected, I would declare, one, September 22nd as Red Coat Day, and two, April 4 as Waste Management Day, with flags at half-mast those two days. No holidays those two days. As second act, if elected, I would draft procedures for what the ordinary citizen can do when encountering a visually impaired individual with a cane or a CI dog on a street, either crossing or on a sidewalk. Namely, I would submit to Congress a proposal to enact statewide that all traffic must come to a complete halt if there is a visually impaired individual walking in the street with a cane or CI dog. Further, I would stipulate, if not done yet, that it not only be a moving violation to fail to come to a halt when encountering a visually impaired individual in an intersection or jaywalking while driving, but that it be a misdemeanor for a pet owner or citizenry to engage a CI dog in any way without express verbal consent from the visually impaired individual. As a third act, if elected, I would submit on the first day of April a resolution to ban coffee and resubmit the same legislation to ban coffee every year of my tenure on April 1st until it passes both the House and the Senate. According to legend, even Pope Clement VIII couldn't resist coffee's charms. After inspecting the drink, he remarked to his skeptical advisors, why this Satan's drink is so delicious that it would be a pity to let the infidels have exclusive use of it. On the NRA of the USA, if elected, I would collaborate on a government program and legislation to establish rifle firing ranges for target practice in almost every county of the United States of America. I would further propose that the firing ranges be partially federally funded partly state and local funded, and surprise inspected for indiscrepancy per posted rules. Any certified American citizen without a felony on record or any outstanding judgments, ages 10 years old to 130 years old, will be permitted to attend the firing ranges if they so will, minors accompanied by supervision. As a promise to myself and nobody else, if elected, I will not spend one night in the presidential suite at the White House opting instead for the sofa in the Oval Office or the quote-unquote shipyard. I have decided that the sole and only reason that I have decided to run for office of the President of the United States of America is because of the subject of this picture. It is my contention that the people or peoples east of Europe and other world entities know more or shall garner more knowledge about America, its strategic weaknesses and strengths than America and Americans would like to believe. For further reference, Wikipedia, search term internet fraud. The sole and only war, barring unforeseen circumstances that I will wage with the armed forces of the United States of America, if elected, will be that of a war of quote-unquote contrition against the perpetrators of the Lord's Resistance Army. For further reference, Wikipedia, search term Lord's Resistance Army. Further, I will attempt to establish roots for a democratic rule of thumb government, nation building, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, by lending USA accounted aid as well as USA accounted security for the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In essence, I will attempt with the four years in office, if elected, to establish a system of government based on checks and balances in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. As if I did not have my belly full, if elected, I would switch the hard currency of the United States of America to something tremendously more valuable than quadrillion dollar bills. Water, H2O, fresh if possible. Food, necessities, and knickknacks would be bought with cups, buckets, pools, and oceans of water, H2O. Further, I would establish trade pack laws that govern the fair market rate 
and trade of both salt and fresh H2O water. Boom! If elected, I would issue a presidential order that children attending public schools be required to sing choirs of ode to joy instead of the Pledge of Allegiance in order to graduate from high school. Children attending the public school system of the USA will begin learning ode to joy on the first day of quote-unquote Head Start programs and continue to learn ode to joy at the sacrifice of all other studies if needed until they perform ode to joy in unison to a T at the end of their senior year of high school. Or else, the student in question of not performing ode to joy to a T will not graduate. Voters vote. As president, if elected, I would express the below views of my presidency. To a friend in an email whom I haven't seen in a while, posted January 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You were right, as incorrect. All women are whores, except a sparse few who network amongst themselves with a blind eye to the whoredoms around them, starting with Callista Gingrich. How anybody in their fucking mind can support Newt Gingrich politically or in society, or maybe among even his own, is beyond me. What is more is that the people who motherfucking well support him in any way except his own, or so-called Christians. Was it or was it not written in the Ten Commandments to not commit adultery? My views are that while I am not gay or transvestite or a swinger, but I have had my share of different women's with different kinds of relationships without my ever having been married to any one person, I believe that any two people of whatever gender difference or not, or whatever other perceived differences should be afforded legal union constitutionally and that the church to which they go, if they do go to a church, should decide of its own accord what they shall do, whether to marry or no. Your friend, signed Shirley. As a further measure of my presidency, if elected, I would offer statehood to the Puerto Rican people of Puerto Rico through Puerto Rican votes and annex the island of Haiti to the United States of America with the hope of successive presidents seeing to it that the Haitian people one day will vote to be the 51st or 52nd state in the union. If elected, I would see to it as president that women under the age of 45 years old be prohibited from purchasing cigarettes. As an appendage to the law, I would attempt to prohibit male children under the age of 21 years old from purchasing cigarettes, alcohol, or firearms. Firearms must be in the care of a responsible adult for all young adults under the age of 21. Further, I would stipulate in the legislation that guns only be sold at government auction houses with strict policies for any private auction house. Lastly, I would provide measures to reinstitute mandatory military service for all males in their 21st year of life. Girls can join or not. Transvestites would not be allowed to join the armed service during my term as president, but there would be behind the scenes discussions. If elected president of the United States of America in 2028 or sometime in four, eight or 12 years as of 2012, I would submit legislation to divide the country by regions or states, 50 in terms of food supplies and economize the food industry in America to a local-based food economy with aid to regions of countries that are barren, infertile, or otherwise war-torn. As for some former asphalt areas, I would recommend in a bill that some asphalt areas, parking lots, within the borders of the USA be restored to terrain, wilderness, or otherwise. Lastly, the legislation would stipulate that cities across America be required to go green or pay a federal tax and that all interstate highways and some major roadways across America establish stoplight sensors every 30 miles to allow for ample animal crossing. Why would I run for president when I would occupy the White House with a bordello of women, some with children in their own quarters under supervision? Also, I would push for renovations of the White House and grounds, buildings, etc., to accommodate addiction recoverers, others, as well as adopt an army of dogs with trainers, volunteers, 
to provide pet therapy dog and peer support with sponsorship to the inhabitants of the White House and grounds. Lastly, I would breed cats.